Our guest today is the author of School World Order, The Technocratic Globalization of Corporatized Education. We welcome to the show, John Kleisig. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. I guess just for our listeners, maybe you could give us a quick rundown on, <laughs> on what the book is about. I know it's a lot, but... Yeah, maybe. yeah. So, um... so the book can be broken down into two broader section so the first has to do with the privatization of education and then the second has to do with the way in which education technologies are integrated into this privatization scheme you could also add i guess a third dimension to it which has to do with uh the role of the order of skull and bones in facilitating both the privatization uh and the ed tech apparatus um so the privatization uh portion basically looks at the rise of uh, what's known as the school choice movement. So this includes uh, charter schools, voucher programs, education savings accounts, uh, tax credits for tuition. So these are all basically different forms of uh, either public-private partnerships or uh, various schemes for funneling public tax dollars into private institutions, whether they be uh, corporate charter schools or just private uh, schools. Um, and then the ed tech portion uh, basically goes through a series of uh, evolving technologies, starting with screen based technologies, moving to wearable technologies, and then eventually implantable technologies. And I look at the ways in which the first two types of technologies data mine students to develop both artificial intelligence algorithms, but also social credit databases that uh, would all ultimately be managed through the merger of the student with the AI through the the implantable brain computer interfaces, uh, and then that's and then again the the order of skull and bones uh, happens to have its hands in pretty much every phase in this evolving uh, scheme. How did you get into this kind of research? So. Um, well, the first article I wrote, and I never really intended to write about uh, education because I teach, so you know I didn't want to necessarily uh, poo-poo in my uh, you know where I sleep, so to speak. And um, but during the governorship of Bruce Rauner in Illinois, so I'm in Illinois, uh, he went through a phase where he was stalling on the budget, and I saw this as a ploy to push public institutions into private receivership, including uh, private uh, or, or rather uh, public schools into the school choice model. And I knew that he was a big charter school proponent. There's actually a Rauner College Prep. Uh, if you looked at his state of the state addresses, he would promote these a lot of the buzzwords that I heard Charlotte Thompson Israbeat talk about. So these included the school choice, the cradle to career, uh, workforce training, uh, public private partnerships, et cetera. From cradle to career, our children's education needs to be our top priority. And um, I was also uh, working for an online tutoring company at the time. So I was seeing the ways in which uh, the ed tech was sort of uh, being promoted at the same time as this privatization scheme was kind of taking hold. And so I wrote an article called The Corporatization of Education, largely just focused on uh, Rauner using the budget crisis to push uh, the school choice agenda. And Charlotte Thompson Israbeat, who wrote the forward to my book, she also wrote uh, The Deliberate Dumbing Down of America. Um, she worked for the Department of Education under Ronald Reagan and blew the whistle on a major technology initiative in 1981 called Project Best, Basic Education Skills Through Technology. So somehow she got a hold of my article, uh, sent me an email. Um, and at first I thought it was like, oh, this has got to be like a virus or something. This is can't be her. Uh, and it, but, it, you know, as I said, I got to open it, you know, even if it is like, <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll put it on a on a computer I don't need anymore. And, uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta see, but it was her and, uh, she encouraged me to, you know, just keep writing. So that article basically became the first chapter of my book. Um, and I just sort of continued to go from there. Uh, as far as the education technology part goes, I had been tutoring for this company that gave us, uh, 
an email that said that it, they were going to have IBM's Watson co-pilot with us. So uh, IBM's Watson is uh, an AI uh, system that can do all sorts of predictive analytics for basically uh, any industry. So it can do like finance, it can do uh, security threat assessments, it can diagnose stuff with uh, in terms of health, healthcare industry, uh, and it can do ed tech stuff. It can do adaptive learning uh, algorithms and, and other intelligent tutoring uh, programs as well. And so I basically saw that uh, every day I went to work, I was kind of being data mined by this thing that was basically going to eventually, right, replace me if it were ever to become uh, sophisticated enough. So mm -hmm. both of those things were happening. Um, and, you know, I wrote that piece and then Charlotte kind of uh, got behind me on this project and she put me in touch with my publisher, Chris Milligan, uh, out of Trying Day Books. Um, and then we sort of just took off from there.